with questions being asked about the rules and regulations. Of course, this is an eliminator race with the bell, I believe, signifying a lap. So we 23 laps before we see the first elimination with the bell signifying when that's going to happen. I think a skater each will drop out at that point. So to start with, we see the peloton form and the skaters trying to conserve enough energy as they go around this 200 meter track and we'll do well to keep count of the coming around with the Colombians and 
the second and third. And making way the Venezuelan, Angie Quintero, having done her stint at the front, allowing the peloton to come through. And again, it's the, the Colombians. They're so smooth, so slick with Gabriela Rueda, the 1,000-metre gold medalist, leading the way. Hot, hot favourite in this 10,000-metre eliminator. Fabriana Arias behind her at the moment with Ecuador's Gabriela Vargas third. Keeping that smooth rhythm, efficiency is the order of the day here. 23 laps before the bell will ring to signify the first athletes will be under threat at the moment at the tail there. Venezuela's Angie Quintero. Don't believe she'll be there for long. Quintero, bronze medalist in the 1,000 metres. Cuba's Rocho Perenza keeping our trip as well in the middle or oh, final third of that peloton and the Colombians around the bend once again Surprised that Gabriel Rueda is doing so much work at the front. I thought she'd be trying to keep her powder dry for the latter stages. I'm sure these women will be starting to feel some of this early stages in their legs. 50 laps, remember, of this 200 metre track in the Pantheon de Romo in Santiago, Peru. Peru, the hosts in 2019, remember, in Lima, which saw Javiera San Martin of Chile win silver. What she will do to win gold on home turf. Snaking around effortlessly. But these skaters will all be tested when somebody decides to pick up the pace when the bell rings. There will be a mad scramble scrap to try and save your skin. Progress in terms of the stages of this race. The eliminator meaning that athletes will drop out after a certain amount of laps. And we see he Angie Quintero moving up. She doesn't want to be caught out in a bad position. Hips ahead of the Brazilian. Sofia Serrano. Chibelier. Right in the middle. The Chilean athlete Javiera San Martin. And that is keeping this order pretty much. We see the Ecuadorian stay on the shoulder of the Colombians, Gabriela Vargas. Another lap ticked off. Beautifully ridden, it's so mesmerizing. So you see these skaters just glide around the course, just crossing over on those bends, not using the arms yes, just yet, keeping their energy, staying as aerodynamic as they can to be as efficient as they can. 
the US skater at the back, Darian O'Neill. Popping up, and now that's the bell, and that's the signal of the sprint. And off they go. This is where they've got to fight for their lives. The Colombians leading out the race to Ecuadorian. At the back is where we need to watch. And it's the Brazilian who currently is in trouble. She's at the back, needs to find some space, some pace, Sofia Serrano. And Serrano crosses the line at last position. And Sofia Serrano drops out. That's a 23 laps. That's 24. Completed. Was it 25, as you say? And back into the smooth skating pattern. nature to control the race and there goes the bell once again that's another 200 meters to save your place in the, this gold medal the 10,000 meter competition and it's the Cuban at the moment on the back with the USA Rocha Porenza against Darian O'Neill and it seems to be the Cuban will be eliminated Rocio Proenza is now out of the competition. That leaves nine skaters remaining. And the Colombians just positioning themselves at the front, even though it would take a bit more energy maybe to fight against the air to lead the peloton. They've also got a head start on the others when the bell rings and they get to control the tempo control the speed as uh, numbers begin to dwindle and Darian O'Neill don't think she want to be in the back of that peloton for much longer as the bell rings and the Colombians cross the line with 200 metres again before someone else is eliminated. Darian O'Neill at the back. Argentina there as well with the athletes from the independent athletic team. Angelica Diaz. Diaz comes on the outside. O'Neill at the back. She's got some work to do. And it looks like O'Neill will be out of this one. Darian O'Neill is out and it was between her and Angelica Diaz so to confirm the three athletes who have been eliminated from the competition Sofia Serrano Bocho Proenza of Cuba and USA's Darian May O'Neill you can hear the crowd starting to build tension building in this race as they take off the laps and as the bell signifies the next stage of the elimination process so at the front Colombia Fabriana Arias and Gabriel Rueda lead out to the bell once again on their shoulder Ecuador's Gabriela Vargas with Me the Colombians are off and we can see the international athlete team, Angelica Diaz on the outside. She's got some work to do. And it's the Argentinian on the back, Rocio Berbel. And it's going to be the independent athlete, Angelica Diaz, who will be eliminated. That's the fourth down. 
information from the stadium announcer. So, remaining both Colombians, Fabriana Arias Perez and Gabriela Rueda. Ecuador's Gabriel Vargas in third. Mexico's Valentina Letelier fourth. And Venezuela's Angie Quintero, the penultimate skater. As the Argentinian says, I've had enough of being at the tail of this competition. Docchio Berbel, I lead it out and have a better position. At the moment, it's Chile's Javier San Martin Pendavis at the back. The bell goes now then. Here's some skating, here's some racing. The Chilean has some work to come on the outside. She's currently safe. The Mexican leading out the group. And it's the Argentinian at the tail at the moment coming around the final bend. You need to see the tail of this peloton. And yes, she's given up the Argentina Rocio Berbelalt, the fifth to be eliminated. Five skaters down, six remaining. Both Colombians, Ecuador, Mexico, Chile and Venezuela. The athletes remaining in this 10,000 metre eliminator, 50 laps of this 200 metre circuit. The legs will be burning after those sprints. Track position, oh so important. The Mexican look, okay, maybe it's on the outside. And the Venezuelan, she has a dart towards the front, knowing that she needs better track position. Angie Quintero, the bronze medalist from the 1,000 metre race. There she is on the front, the Colombians on the tail. Chiles, Javier San Martin on the outside fighting. Here goes the bell, the Mexican and the Chilean athlete at the back there. Javier San Martin, Valentina Latelia seem to be the two fighting for their lives. And at the moment, the Chilean has to get the inside line. Venezuela's athlete, Angie Quintero, dropping back as well. And the bell be rang once again as well. And it looks like the Chilean athlete is out. And it's another bell gone. And the Mexican athlete drops out. And we're down now then. One more bell. The Colombians, Ecuador, Venezuela. Oh, the skates and it's nearly a crash. Ecuador nearly taking a few athletes off with her. Now this is really slow. The cat amongst the pigeons. The Colombian. Another bell has gone. Venezuela are out of the race. Now two Colombians. This is the fight for the medals. Colombia against Ecuador. Fabio Arias. Gabriela Rueda. Ecuador. Gabriela Vargas. And it's going to be a gold medal and a silver medal to Colombia. And bronze goes to Ecuador's Gabriela Vargas. And it looks like Fabriana Arias is it with the gold beating maybe the favourite Gabriela Rueda the great skating oh such such fierce competition for a second there, as the lap came to an end, I thought a couple were going to fall off their skates. And the confirmation, Fabriana Arias, the gold medal winner. Many congratulations to her. She had a disappointing sixth in the 1,000 metre race yesterday, but Fabriana Arias wins gold in the 10,000 meter eliminator. Silver goes to Gabriela Rueda. And bronze goes to Ecuador's Gabriela Vargas. And Gabriela Rueda, I'm sure, although at this point we'll be congratulating Fabriana Arias on her success. Another double success for Colombia. Such a powerful nation when it comes to 
speed skating, inline speed skating. And we have two more athletes going in the men's eliminator. In approximately half an hour or so. And there's the confirmation of the medal table. Fabriana Arias first. Gabriela Rueda with the silver. And Gabriela Vargas claiming the bronze medal. So it's uh, another medal for Vargas after winning silver yesterday in the 1,000-metre event.